Hello there. In this video, we are going to discuss all the general things you need to know about baggage policies of different airlines. This video has two versions, an English version and a Filipino version. You are now watching the English version. If you want to watch the Filipino version, check out the comment section for the link. Number 1. In this video, we will help you know how to interpret the baggage allowance policies of airlines. How many pieces and how many kilos of free baggage can you check in and carry with you inside the aircraft? Are you allowed to check in your stuff inside boxes? How about the so-called sacco bags? Can you check in your television set? Related to all those baggage types, what is the allowed size and dimension? Number 2. Which items are allowed in your carry-on bags? We will discuss the important rules to follow. So as not to end up throwing your stuff into the airport garbage bins. And wasting those hard-earned money of yours. Number 3. Which items are not allowed in your carry-on, but are allowed to be checked in? Number 4. For your safety and the safety of everyone on board, which items are entirely prohibited in the aircraft, whether in your carry-on, or in your check-in baggage? Number 5. Which items are prohibited by your country of destination? To avoid penalties and trouble, you must be aware of these rules. Lastly, we will give some tips how you can avoid getting your baggage lost somewhere along its trip. And how you can avoid having to spend a lot of time and stress during security checks. Let's begin with number 1, free baggage allowance. First thing you must understand is that your airline has specific rules about the maximum dimension of your baggage. For example, if they specify that the maximum size is 62 inches or 158 centimeters, it means that if you add the height, plus the length and the width of the box, it should not exceed 158 centimeters or 62 inches. Otherwise, you will have to pay an excess baggage charge. This is the rule to follow if you are going to check in your television sets. We will discuss this in details in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Whether it's a box or your sacco bag, you must follow the allowed size specified in your itineraries. To answer how many bags or kilos you can check in, we must understand the difference between these two. There are two types of baggage allowance, the piece and weight concept. Understanding the difference between the two types may help you from the possible hassle of unpacking and repacking your bags at the airport in the future. Let's start with the piece concept. These airlines are following the peace concept on the specified routes below. Passengers of Philippine Airlines, with route, Philippines to or from North America, Middle East, and Japan, passengers of Saudia, Gulf Air, Kuwait Airways, and Oman Air, with route Philippines to or from the Middle East, passengers of ANA or All Nippon Airways, Japan Airlines, and Cathay Pacific, with route. Philippines to or from Asia, passengers of KLM Royal Dutch, with route, Philippines to or from Europe, passengers of United Airlines, with route, Philippines to or from Guam, your baggage policy will follow the peace concept. What is this peace concept? Under the peace concept, your baggage allowance is determined by how many pieces you can bring. And each piece will have a maximum allowed weight. For example, if your flight ticket says two pieces with 23 kilograms each, this means you can only bring maximum of two free baggage. If you bring three check-in baggage, you have to pay extra for that. Also, if one of your bags will exceed 23 kilograms, you will also have to pay extra. You also must consider that even if you are willing to pay the excess baggage fee, there is a maximum allowed weight per bag. For the safety of the people who will be handling or carrying your baggages, each bag can only weigh up to 32 kilograms maximum. If you exceed this limit, you risk yourself having to throw away some of your stuff. What is weight concept? Under the weight concept, your free baggage allowance is determined by the total combined weight, regardless of the number of bags you want to bring. Which airlines and routes are using the weight concept? Passengers of Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific, Singapore Airlines, Royal Brunei, and Thai Airways, with route, Philippines to or from Asia, passengers of Emirates, Qatar Air, Cebu Pacific, and Turkish Airlines, with route, Philippines to or from the Middle East, and passengers of the Philippine Airlines, with route, Philippines to or from Europe and Australia. 
Your baggage policy will follow the weight concept. So how do you know if your baggage policy is under the weight concept? If in your flight itinerary, it did not say how many pieces you can bring, and only the weight is mentioned, then you are on the weight concept. For example, if your ticket only says 35 kilograms and it did not specify how many pieces, it means you can bring any number of bags as long as you will not exceed your weight allowance. There are exemptions, however, when the airlines give special rules. For example, is Cebu Pacific. Passengers of Cebu Pacific can only bring maximum of two bags. If there is no such restriction in your airline policy, then you can bring three bags. You can bring two bags. It is up to you. But again, you have to remember that one bag can only have a maximum of 32 kilograms weight for safety reasons. If you exceed this limit, you risk yourself having to throw away some of your stuff. For passengers of Philippine Airlines, in addition to the free carry-on baggage allowance, a passenger is allowed to carry on board a maximum of two of any of the following items, a small handbag, pocketbook or purse, an overcoat, wrap or blanket, a small camera or binoculars, laptop with case, a reasonable amount of reading material, duty-free bag, pair of crutches and or braces, walking stick and other prosthetic device for the passenger's use, provided that the passenger is dependent upon them. If you are to bring battery-powered wheelchairs, you must notify the airline and get an approval. If you need to have an oxygen bottle with you, you have to pack it properly and strictly must not be used on board. For those traveling with infants, you can bring infants food for consumption in flight, a stroller to be checked in, and if you are flying to USA, Canada or Japan, your infant check-in baggage is 23 kilograms. If you are flying to the Middle East, your infant's free check-in allowance is only 10 kilograms. Depending on your ticket class, each passenger is allowed at least one carry-on baggage. It must be small enough to be placed in the overhead bin or under the passenger seat of the aircraft cabin. Your airlines will specify the maximum total dimension. In most airports, there is a station to check if your bag fits the size requirement. All the weights and sizes of your hand carry and check-in baggage will be discussed in a separate video so stay tuned for that. To know if your flight is following the peace concept or the weight concept, you have to check your flight details either on your booking confirmation sent by your travel agency or by checking it online in your airline website. For example, passengers of Philippine Airlines only need to provide their surname used in the booking and their booking reference. In the baggage details section, you will see something like this. This example is Philippine Airlines route Riyadh to Manila. This ticket has a free baggage allowance of two pieces with maximum weight of 23 kilograms each and a carry-on baggage of 7 kilograms. Now let's go to the more interesting part. What items should you keep in your hand carry? Remember, all your documents and valuable items must be in your hand carry. Power banks, mobile phones, cameras, laptops, money, jewelry, precious metals, negotiable papers, important documents, passports must be in your hand carry. Do not place these items into your check-in baggage. You are allowed to bring a quart-sized bag of liquids, aerosols, gels, creams and paste in your carry-on bag and through the checkpoint. These are limited to travel-sized containers that are 3.4 ounces or 100 milliliters or less per item. You must place these items in a small transparent bag or a Ziploc plastic bag. This will help to facilitate a smooth security check. If it is more than 100 milliliters, place them in your check-in baggage. Note that the containers must clearly show how much milliliter of liquid is there. Otherwise, it will not be accepted. Of course this label should come from the original container and not from you. Exemptions are your medications. Separate them from other belongings and use a Ziploc plastic bag. What are the allowed items in your check-in baggage? These are the things that you cannot place in your hand carry and must therefore be in your check-in. Any blunt instrument. Any object that is sharp and pointed. Workers' tools and similar items. Firearms and ammunition are prohibited unless those are for sporting purposes and are compliant to existing rules. Gold bars and jewelries must not be checked in. If you really must carry these items with you, you must know the regulations of your country of destination and must properly declare them to authorities. 
live animals must not be checked in. As mentioned, firearms and ammunition are prohibited, whether real or dummy. And even toys that look like the real ones. Magnets and magnetized materials are prohibited. In small amounts, for example, souvenir refrigerator magnets are safe and acceptable. Any material containing iron metals possessing a magnetic field, although not considered as dangerous cargo, may hold a magnetic charge sufficient to affect the aircraft instrument and are thus threat to safety. Other dangerous goods that are not allowed in both hand carry or check-in baggage are the following, lighters and matches, pepper spray, stunning equipment like taser. In Philippine Airlines, electronic cigarettes will be accepted only in your carry-on. But note that other airlines totally do not allow this item in the aircraft. Fireworks, sparklers, any type of explosives, corrosive or wet cell batteries and acids, fuel, infectious substances including blood samples, pesticides, insecticides, oxidizing materials like bleach, dye, paint and thinner, camping gas, radioactive materials and other toxic substances are prohibited. Non-rechargeable batteries are also prohibited in the aircraft, except A4 batteries, up to 20 pieces only. These prohibitions are all for our own safety. Non-compliance could lead to serious accidents and could put everyone's lives in danger. Other things that are prohibited are lithium battery-powered transports like electric bikes, air wheels, solo wheel, hoverboard, and segways. Regardless if you remove the battery or not. Number 5, there are certain items that are prohibited by law by your country of destination. And you must take this seriously. For example, in Saudi Arabia, anything with pork, even those pork-flavored products like potato chips are prohibited. You will face heavy fines and legal problems if you violate this law. Also, any religious items not related to Islam are not allowed. Do not bring any pornographic materials, whether in CDs or magazines. Bringing alcoholic beverages in Saudi Arabia carries very serious punishment. Meanwhile, most European countries, and also Australia, South Korea and many other countries do not allow plants, meat products, and anything with seeds to be brought into their country. You must research on these things before buying them and packing them in your luggages. And of course, illegal drugs are a very serious offense with very heavy punishment. Do not fall into the classic modus where someone asks you a favor to check in their baggage under your name. If you do not know what is inside the bag, do not ever check in the bag under your name. Lastly, we would like to give you tips to avoid having your luggage lost during its trip. If you still have the tags from your previous trips or flights, you have to remove them. Your bags will undergo a series of checks and sorting. If an incorrect barcode is scanned, your luggage could be sent to a different destination and could be lost. Before your flight, consider to use something that will help you better identify your luggage during luggage claim. There will be so many luggages that will look the same. To easily identify yours, use bright and unique luggage straps. Tight straps are better because it has very little chance to get stuck onto something. And do not forget to check the tag information that the airline check-in staff will place on your luggage. Confirm if your name is written correctly and the destination is correct. Lastly, to avoid having to spend so much time during security checks, avoid carrying items with these materials. One is aluminum. It messes up the x-ray machine, thus security officers may have to do multiple checks on your bag and even special tests on you and your bags. Another one is coffee beans. Coffee beans is not entirely prohibited, but it makes officers suspicious because coffee beans conceal the smell of dangerous items and goods from their K9 units. So they would have to spend more time checking your luggage. Thanks for watching. If you find this information helpful, please like this video. We also appreciate your comments and feedback. Consider to subscribe to get to see more updates like these. See you on the next update and have a safe flight to the Philippines.